Hi there, my name is Jack Davis and I'm an applications engineer with Olympus Controls. And today I'm gonna to be looking at the UR cap from Process Robotics. What this cap allows you to do is command motion from a copley drive directly from the UR controller. The hardware we're looking at today is a UR10 and a copley BEL drive. I've got an ethernet cable connected between them to enable communication. And it's important to remember that a special ethernet driver needs to be flashed onto the copley drives in order for this to work. Uh, this is the same driver that enables the Copley web interface. Let's start with the setup. To start, you'll need to install the cap from a USB stick. I've already installed it to my UR10 here. So after this is installed, we're ready to set up the motor under the installation tab. You can see here, I've already filled in the IP address of my Copley drive. Hit the check there. Uh, I'll press the connection button so you can see that we are connected. When this lamp turns green, and we have no faults, and we have yet to enable our motor. So in the next part of the configuration page here, you can see this is where you set the motor uh, parameters. I have a servo, and I know that the lead of my actuator is five millimeters per revolution. So under the distance per motor revolution, I've got 0 0.005 here. And this is where you'll also set the maximum velocity, acceleration, uh, and so forth. Let's go ahead and enable the motor. And you can see all of our lamps have now turned green, except for home referenced. So my axis is not yet homed. So let's go ahead and start off with doing that. In order to home the axis, we'll need to actually start using our cap. And what the cap adds is a new node under the programming interface. You can see I've just added one into our blank program here. And you can see in our right panel here, this is what we are able to do. We can home the axis, move relative, move absolute. I know I want to home our axis. And let's go ahead and play that. And our axis is referenced. If I go back into our installation tab, I can see our home is referenced. We have no faults. And we are ready to start commanding motion. Let's start off with just a simple move relative. And we'll do 20 centimeters. Let's go ahead, and we've got motion. I'm gonna do negative, go back, eh, you know, let's do it like this. Move to absolute position zero, and that's back where our home is. And one good thing to note is that if I go ahead and add a pop-up here, and so this is when the program has ended, so a little message, you'll see that when I play my program, move to point two, that our program actually holds itself there until the uh, move is completed, and then it continues on in the program sequence. Go ahead and stop that program there. Now this node just gives you the basics of what you're able to do with a Copley drive. For more precise controls, we're gonna need to add a script function. The cap adds a bunch of scripts into the uh, into the UR cap, and some of the things it allows you to do is interact with the I.O., enable, disable the drive, check if you're currently enabled, and you're also able to modify the parameters of the drive. Let's look at one of the things that modifying the parameters allows you to do. I'll start off by copying my move here and go back to the zero position, and I will make this loop forever. Delete that. So now we've got some motion. Now say for instance a uh, fault is going to occur. I can trigger that manually in my configuration right here. Let's see what happens. So the drive becomes disabled and it throws a pop-up onto the teach pendant. You can see I manually triggered this motor over temp with one of the IOs I have available on the copley and this terminated the program. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and our program has ended. When I go back into the installation tab, I can see that we have a fault. And what we're gonna to need to do is clear these faults. Let's take a look at the parameter dictionary. Now here under the latching fault status register, you can see here, uh, this is one of the registers in the parameter dictionary and it's bitmap to show when latching faults have occurred in the drive. Uh, the cause of the fault can be read from this register. So I can read this register from the program using one of the read parameter functions, or more importantly, I can write to this parameter. 
you can see here to clear fault condition write a one to the associated bit in this uh latching fault status register and i know i triggered a motor over temperature error let's go ahead and add this into our robot program I'm going to go ahead and add it into a before start sequence so that this occurs before our robot program runs. And I know I want it to be a script. And the way to access these functions is by typing access control dot write program and so we're writing to register hex A4, and we're writing integer 16, which corresponds to bit four. Submit, submit. And another thing we're gonna want is another script. So after we clear, clear the fault, we want to access control. Enable motor. And we're enabling the first motor in mode 21, which is the default um, argument there. When we play the program, we've now cleared our fault. Check and verify. Ah, it's a little visual bug. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my program. So finally, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a program I've already written right here, just to kind of show you what kinds of things you can do with this cap. One of the things that I've added here is I've added a thread at the very end so that the drive can run motion while the robot is doing something completely independently. And that's just one of the applications that this could be used for. Another one is a seventh axis application where you mount the robot on top of the actuator and you can move the robot around in that uh, new direction. And with that, that concludes my little introduction here on how to use the Process Robotics UR cap. Uh, thanks for watching and happy applications.